I don't understand what the reason is yesterday to go on PR spin tour and tell everybody that will listen, if Tom wanted to be back, we would have paid him. What's the use there? You don't need to win over the fan base. They see what happened. They see Tom Brady at 43 years old. They know the history of Bill Belichick being cold and calculated, football first, no emotion. They see where the crossroads were, and they saw Tom Brady want to go somewhere else to get his love, and that Bill Belichick didn't think he was worth that cost. That's fine. There is no blame on either side. I totally support Bill Belichick in not betting $30 million on Tom Brady at 43. If you watched Brady last year, you saw already the flaws happening in his game. Why allocate $30 million to Tom Brady unless you're looking for relevance, which is what the Buccaneers are doing? I don't blame Bill Belichick at all for this. It's the right football move. Start moving forward and start, instead of looking back. I also don't blame Tom Brady as well. If somebody's going to give him $30 million a year at 43 years old, go ahead and get it. You're paid to play football. Somebody wants to pay you a lot of money to play football. They think you can make them a winner. Go ahead and get it done. You're allowed to move on. It's totally legal. You're a free agent. You set up your contract this way. Somebody's offering you the cash to play a professional sport, to do your job, as the Patriots saying goes, you're allowed to leave. He didn't dupe the Patriots. He didn't run a misdirection. He sold his house. Adam Schefter reported midseason he was preparing to leave. He set up his contract to be able to leave. This was not an undercover of the night, a 180. So Brady can't be blamed. Belichick can't be blamed. Robert Kraft needed to just shut up there. He needed to just allow those two parties to move on. He didn't need to go into PR spin mode of, well, if Tom wanted to be back, we would have definitely given him money. And this is the annoyance with Kraft incessantly consumed by his perception. And the Kraft family consumed by what people think about them. Nobody is stupid enough to believe that the Patriots were willing to go to the level that the Buccaneers did. And yet here is Kraft eight minutes approximately after Brady sends out his Instagram message that he bids farewell, bids adieu to the Patriots fans, having to basically throw Brady under the bus. Oh, well, he wanted to leave. There was never any need to do it. 